Hey, what is up everybody? Well, I just got out of the Goodwill and as you can see right here, I picked up a Sony PlayStation Multitab. Now this, if you haven't seen one of these before, this is actually for the PlayStation 1. It's kind of got that nice little curve uh, as you see right here. I'll probably pop up a picture of what this looks like when they're actually paired with a PlayStation 1. And as you can see right here, obviously there is four ports, A, B, C, and D, and you can put a memory card in here. And there is where you connect your controller. So obviously by using this, you could do things like bring friends over to the house and all four of you would be able to play on that one single PlayStation. Now on the back here, everything looks really good. At least I do know that this is a official adapter that is by Sony. So you definitely do not want to pick up one of these multi-taps if it isn't by Sony. The other ones just absolutely are not any good. So this, as you can see, I paid $5 for it right here. These are worth a little bit more. Um, I could easily get about 20 to $25 out of this. Uh, typically these would work really well for just people that kind of collects PlayStation stuff that really can't find these anymore, or maybe doesn't want to take a risk with using eBay. Now, another quick thing that I got was batteries. So this is for the Xbox 360, just a rechargeable battery. These, if you bring these up front and they and if they have no price on it, for the most part, they will make you a deal. And these usually run 50 cents. So 50 cents to try a rechargeable battery. I thought, why not? What I have here is a nunchuck. Now, this isn't just any nunchuck. This is a nunchuck that is actually wireless. So most of you probably haven't seen these nunchucks that goes obviously with the Wii or the Wiimote, but this is one that was by Memorex and the brand here was Sidekick Gaming Controller. Now, I encourage you to go take a look for one of these on eBay and chances are you won't find it. I have never found one of these out in the wild before. There really isn't any comps on how much that they are worth, but from what at least I've kind of been able to kind of gather with, you know, just looking at or other forums and so forth, these would probably be about $35. I know that sounds expensive and that really was kind of around the going rate when these first came out uh, for the Nintendo Wii, but yeah, it was completely wireless. Now, this one I got pretty lucky because originally I just found this nunchuck and well, since I saw that it had a plug right here, I could not find this other piece. And so as I was pretty much about to give up and to call it a day, I went back over into the section where this was at and a couple of other people had kind of stirred up the area and well, I found the actual adapter. So these just would plug back into the back of the Wii and it would charge there is also a really nice kind of uh, LED blue light that comes with these. So yeah, this was basically just a wireless version of the Wii Nunchuck. Another quick find. So I always look for the Blu-ray 3D whenever I am out at a Goodwill or whatever. And that is mainly because if you find a 3D Blu-ray, just like this one right here, which I paid about three bucks for, then what that means is, is that if you use a PSVR 1, the original model, just like this one right here, and a PlayStation 4, well then you can actually take advantage of this 3D format. So here is one of them, usually that might have something like Blu-ray 3D up at the top. And even if you, you know, flip this over, you do see it says Blu-ray 3D. 
Now, I do have another one that I was just going to show you. This one I did not pick up, but this is another Blu-ray 3D. And so this one, you know, it just shows it right up here at the top. Now, don't be confused because sometimes when you go out looking, you may think that maybe, well, this Blu-ray 3D is on all of them. And well, obviously it is not. Here is just a copy of Inglorious, and it does not have that 3D Blu-ray. So yeah, whenever you're out and about, just make sure that you are picking up the Blu-ray 3D if you want to use that with a PSVR system. All right, thanks so very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.